What is corruption? Corruption is the abuse of entrusted power for private gain. It hurts everyone whose life, livelihood, or happiness depends on the integrity of people in a position of authority. Sometimes its devastating impact is more visible. A father without shoes because he has to pay to get his child into a free school. A small shop owner weakly bribing the local inspector and cutting his modest earnings. Other times, corruption's impact is less visible. The corporation securing a contract through big-hearted kickbacks to corrupt government officials. The lower safety standards buildings, passed thanks to under-the-counter bribes, collapsing in an earthquake. To strengthen the fight against corruption, in 2003, countries in the United Nations concluded a convention against corruption. The UNCAC is the first global anti-corruption treaty and takes a comprehensive approach to tackling corruption worldwide. Ratified by 148 states by 2010, it includes obligations for governments to prevent and criminalize corruption and to cooperate internationally with other countries. The UNCAC is a major landmark. But only with constructive monitoring will governments take the UNCAC seriously. The countries that are party to the UNCAC adopted a review mechanism, the first ever peer review process in the United Nations system. The mechanism has three bodies which support the review process. All the states that are party to the UNCAC must be reviewed by peer review teams made up of experts from two reviewing countries. The review will x-ray domestic bribery, foreign bribery, embezzlement, money laundering, liability of companies, whistleblower protection, mutual legal assistance, and more. Civil society participation is a key element of a credible review process. CSO's role is to check government's progress in implementing the UNCAC, give suggestions for improvement, and provide support for governments to learn from good examples and to take similar actions. Only in this way can information be passed, in this way can information be shared by all, and only in this way um, can um, society at large determine uh, how the country is faring in its fight against corruption and which are the areas that require additional attention.